The national anthem, courtesy of Lauren Hart, and we are ready to go here at Wells Fargo Center. The Flyers exiting the All-Star break with four consecutive games at home. The Coyotes picking up part of an eight-game road trip. First time in franchise history they played eight consecutive games on the road. Let's take a look at our Kia starting goaltenders for this one. For the Arizona Coyotes, it is Mike Smith. And the crease is all his now in Arizona. More on that as the game moves along. Smith has started the last four, lost them all, but not much goal support. And Ray Emery for the Flyers coming off that sterling effort. 33 saves against the Pittsburgh Penguins in that victory right before the All-Star break. Ray Emery back in, but good news for the Flyers is that Steve Mason is healthy and is backing Ray Emery up tonight. Indeed, Mason. Rest for the Flyers for the first time in a while as Smith gets himself ready. There is Steve Mason. A little under the weather in addition to the injury he had. And speaking of that, Michael Waffle not going for the Flyers due to illness as well. More on that when we get to the scratches. Here's Jake Voracek for the puck for Philadelphia as the Flyers top line goes right to work. And you look at the Flyer combinations in defense frames at the top of your screen. The shot by Drew is blocked. All the way back out to Nick Schultz, who's back in the lineup after missing just one game with his minor injury. Strike setters, it bounces back out to Schultz with room. Looks in the middle, his angle shot is gloved by Smith, and he'll hang on. So it's a little pressure from the Flyers. Exactly the way the Flyers need to approach this, though, against the Coyotes, who are really hurting. I mean, the Flyers are looking up at a lot of the pack in the Eastern Conference. Arizona is in a worse predicament when it comes to a playoff spot. Craig Berube wants his guys to keep it simple after five days without skating before yesterday. Both coaches concerned about that. The teams not having played since last week. Both did practice yesterday, but limited practice. It was Luke Shen's shot. Ricochets wide of the net. And now John Couturier tumbles to the ice as he was going after that buck. It's cleared up and out. Delzado clears it back in, and they blow it dead on the offside. Let's look at the scratches. You're just getting done seeing the Coyotes combinations at the top of your screen there. Without Michael Botka, that's a huge loss for them as he is out with a, an injury. He lost his spleen, part of a very scary situation. And for the Flyers, Michael Roffle added to the list of the walking wounded, and Zach Ronaldo is on that list as part of a suspension as he has been suspended for eight games for his hit on Chris Letang in the game before the All-Star break. So with that, as we talked about in the open, a couple of Flyers, new Flyers, if you will, Ryan White out there and Peter Straka making their flyer debuts here tonight. There's Couturier back to get the puck. And now it goes off. Michael does out of them. Matt Reed who turns it over, but it was a delayed offside call. And so the whistle stops playing. Been a struggle for the Coyotes. There's Dave Tippett, their head coach there. Winless in their last six games after having won five or seven, but they really hit the skids before the break. They're having all kinds of problems. They've only won two of their last ten. And in their last ten games, for a guy that stressed his team defense first, the Coyotes have allowed 40 goals in the last ten games. And they're not scoring a whole lot either. So it's not working well right now for Dave Tippett, who is used to his teams contending almost every year. His club right up there near 90 to 100 points, but uh, it's not gone well for the Coyotes in their first year as the Arizona Coyotes, of course, have been called Phoenix up until this year. And there's Connor Burton, Connor Flyers assistant coach, getting the puck deep into the Philadelphia zone. But the Flyers move back with it. That was Ryan White wearing number 25, getting it ahead. White wearing 25, Peter Straka wearing 51, and Wayne Simmons is the other member of this line. Here is Straka. And the puck into the Arizona zone. His shot goes off the stick and then the glass. That's right to McDonald, and he could not keep it in. It bounces to the middle of the ice. He dies, knocks the man down, and no penalty. It's offside. Offside the call. And so a face-off in the neutral zone gives us a chance to go down ice level and go inside the glass for the first time post-All-Star break to Chris Terry. Yeah, thanks very much, Jimmy. I think when you look at the, uh, the Arizona Coyotes, they've made some changes over the years. Their coach has been here for a while, but their best defenseman guys right now Oliver Ekman Larson, this guy is a tremendous defenseman. He gets up offensively, he can defend the brush. Great skater and an all-star to boot this year. And he'll be, he'll be a future all-star in many games to come. He's certainly a guy to watch out here and the Flyers are going to have to pay attention to him on, on the ice at all times. And the Coyotes defense with Ekman Larson and this guy with the puck right now, Keith Handel, they do 
like to join the rush and become part of the offense. And Eckman Larson certainly has numbers in that direction. He leads the team in game winning goals, power play goals, time on ice, shots. This is a defenseman, mind you. Well, Craig Berube telling us before the game that the, the D core for the Arizona Coyotes make it all happen. So all forwards have to pay very close attention to where the D-men are. They all skate well. They all like to join the rush. You can also do some pretty good work yourselves offensively against them because they're not all that careful about when they join. Shane Doan shot blocked by Delzato. He couldn't find the puck. Delzato got it out to Ekman Larson for a shot that was blocked, but Drew then had trouble controlling. He was after the setter, but Ekman Larson gets to Antoine Vermette. Vermette ahead to Doan, the longtime captain of this team. Setters it, goes on through. Shen had trouble controlling, then he knocks the man down. And that's not called either as the two referees, Frederick Ekaye and Fred Slash-Mamara, just look on impassively, as Gene Hart used to say. I'm really liking them so far. <laughs> Voracek <laughs> sends the puck in. Lenny McCulloch is back. It's a Declan Larson. And now across it comes to McCulloch. Active leader in block shots. And back after missing a couple games due to injury right before the break. Moves the puck into the Philadelphia zone. Carlo Poliakovo dropping it back to Andrew McDonald. His pass is tipped away, and the Coyotes have it. Erat back to Murphy for a shot. Save rebound. Sits on the line. Did it go in? They say it did go in. Francois Salara says it is a goal as it bounced off of Emery high in the air and then dribbled across the goal line and the Coyotes get the first goal. One nothing. Boy this is something that the Flyers really hope that they can improve on and that is getting themselves a quick start instead of allowing their opponents to get the first goal and it is still obviously a work in progress. Ray Emery. Boy I don't even know where that went. Ray Emery looked like he had it with the blocker. Shoulder dropped down. Yeah, well, it was already in on the first go around, you know, wasn't it? Chris? I, yeah, I think that's Connor Murphy's goal. I believe that is. You know, it bounced. It looked like there's sticks all around it. The shot was taken by Connor Murphy. As you said, Jimmy, the son of Gordon Murphy, Flyers assistant coach. But they got E Rod on this, uh, you know, e, e Rod all around it. But I think that's Murphy's, uh, uh, Connor Murphy's goal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sal was gesturing as if to say it was already in the net. Yeah. There's another shot, Emery. A little trouble controlling that one before covering on Joe Vitale's effort. So Connor Murphy. Yeah, there it is. Five for the Coyotes. There he is, scoring in front of his dad. You know what? That's got to be a strange feeling for Gord. Because you're thinking to yourself, geez, my kid just scored in the NHL, but he just scored against us. <laughs> so interesting feelings. We talked, I talked to him about that in Phoenix as well, and he said the same thing. You know, he wanted to do well, but, you know, also we want to get our two points as well. Yeah, Gord didn't... Uh, didn't enjoy that experience too much. It's got to be against his son. There's Wayne Simmons stealing the puck, trying to get away from Yandel. Simmons pumps it a little deeper. Strock over after, but he's checked. And uh, Lessio will push the puck out to the neutral zone. Jab it to the red line. Strike takes over there. And now Mark Strike with the pass to Nick Schultz. He'll wind up and fire. Goes wide. I'm not sure Smith ever saw that. As Jam the puck back deep into the Arizona end of the ice. Back up ice comes Lori Korpakowski. Tipping it deep into the Philadelphia zone. Elmar, to get that one around, it's knocked down by Chip Chura and then frozen at the side of the net by Emery. I'm sure Ray Emery wants to see how that goal went in that Connor Murphy shot because it looked like it hit him. And it had a chance to drop in front of him, but somehow it curled right up and over him and landed yep, that's behind ex him. Exactly it, Billy. He bounced up, didn't know where he was, it lost it off the shot with a scramble of people, and there it fell behind him on the goal. Line. So Gord has seen two of Connor's four NHL goals. He scored in his very first NHL game. Or Murphy was in attendance in that game. As he had actually just been let go and was able to go down and watch his son played in his NHL debut and he scored a goal. He took a little breather from his job search. That's right. And it worked out great. There's Giroux looking for the puck and still battling for it. Finally, it bounces free toward the corner. David Moss will play it around to the other corner. Set up the wall and knocked down. Or check a shot and the save Smith. Rebound, control, Koliakovo across. Now the pass to Giroux, trying to go cross ice, bounces back to McDonald. Or check another shot and the stick save by Smith. The Flyers top line with some pressure. He was staying after it, but Poliakovo could not keep it in. Back the other way goes Toby Reeder. Really born forward for the Coyotes. He's 
Wrestles with it towards and Koyakovo has the puck. He's going to head to Braden Shen. Shen's pass is tipped away. And the Coyotes have it back. Flyers have outshot Arizona 4-2 here in the early going. The Coyotes have the only goal as Shane Doan moves in. That one all the way through it. Larson a shot save. Rebound here and he scores. Wide open in front. The veteran Marty Erat, who has struggled scoring goals of late. But he pots that one and it's 2-0 Coyotes. Boy, by my count, that's only Arizona's second scoring chance. And a breakdown by the Flyers. See Michael Delzato step up. Everybody vacated. Martin Erat was so lonely in front, and when the yeah. puck came to him, he had half a net to shoot at. You're right, Bill. That's a, that's a gift in the NHL today. You never usually get a guy alone. There's always somebody there to confront you, or at least in your face. And uh, that's the case right there with, with uh, Martin Erat in front. And it looks to me like, well, it doesn't look to me. It is. Steve Mason is going to come in. This is as early a change as you'll we'll see after two goals. But Craig Ruby understanding the importance of two points, guys, making the change back to his number one. And we'll see what the Flyers can wake up here. So Ray Emery has two goals on four shots. And now Steve Mason will see his first action in a little while. He'll throw in the all-star break. So he had the lower body injury. He missed four games of the back injury. And then another injury. Then was a little ill during the break as well. But here he is getting his first action this time in relief. And tough for Ray Emery as well. The Coyotes struck so quickly. And Craig Berube didn't have much of an option. I mean, he could have left Emery in to try to play his way perhaps back into this game and let the team in front of him play back into the game. But at what cost, right? I mean, you're up against it. You're looking for points. You've got to do what you've got to do, and you've got to be decisive all the way along now until the end of the season. The other Coyotes in the lead. Mason quickly into the game. And Jandel across for Erat. Here at ending a 10-game goal is drop, picking up only his second goal in the last 20 games. I uh, used to score goals pretty regularly in the NHL as a member of the Nashville Predators, but has really struggled in the last couple of seasons. Flyers ice the puck here. And so a face-off back down near Mason. Well, we need to tell everyone about the Xfinity Live Thursday night pack. It includes a ticket, pregame appetizer, and post-game beverage plus a $10 gift card, all at Xfinity Live, starting at just $55. And you can visit PhiladelphiaFlyers.com for available games, including this Thursday's game against Winnipeg. Flyers win the draw. Luke Shen. R.J. Umberger, now backhanded all the way down the ice. Did you get it? I think you call it. They'll drop it off for Ekman Larson ahead on the money to... Antoine Vermette, and now Doan. Doan, and he went in and hit basically the side of the net. Out there for a moment. And now Schultz chopping it to Giroux. And Giroux back to Nick Schultz. He will hustle the bucket across the line and deal to Voracek. Voracek around behind the net. That one will skip. And away to Vermette. And now back behind the net to McCollum. Antoine Vermette tied with Keith Gandel for the scoring lead for this Arizona club. 30 points. Leads the club. Here is Strike. Strike. Starts up. As the Flyers try to get some offense generated. They miss fire on that pass, and so it's icing. We'll face off once again down back into Philadelphia ice. Tomorrow, Michael Barkan is talking about the Flyers and the Sixers and the Eagles offseason. Watch Philly Sports Talk presented by Comcast Business tomorrow night at 5. Comcast Sportsnet. Ray Emery yeah, after that solid game against Pittsburgh. He held the team in the game in that first period. Gave him a chance to get into the contest. And then they, of course, went on to win. They actually led after the first period, but they were outchanced and outshot pretty severely in that first period. There's something about the Penguins that brings the best out of every flyer, every position. And Simmons will shuttle the puck into the Arizona zone. And White trying to get in after it. Simmons tips the puck. Erad is there. Bodied by Simmons. Down he goes. And the puck out to the neutral zone. Ricochet's off with some skates. And is gathered by Straka, who gets to Simmons from the blue line. Arister, and that's handled, smothered by Smith, and he'll cover up. Almost eight minutes in to period number one. The Cowdies with two. Welcome back. 
You look at the Arizona Coyotes, fellas, one of the things that's pretty noticeable, a guy like Keith Yandel, the big minutes eater, offensive defenseman, he's going to be a coveted piece at the deadline. Another player, too, I think that uh, Arizona's got to look at, Shane Doan, longtime captain here, a player going back to the Winnipeg days. Does he stay in Phoenix or Glendale, uh, or does he go elsewhere to try to get it, uh, his hands on the coveted Stanley Cup? It'll be interesting to see what happens as the deadline approaches here in Arizona. Well, one thing is a certainty, it will be Shane Doan's call. Yes, no and, question. Right, and nobody else's. Yandel's got a pretty heavy price tag on him, guys, and I think he's going to move. I, I think that they're going to want to try to get bodies back for him to try to rebuild this franchise here in Arizona and do ownership and stuff, so it'll be interesting, but you're right about that Doan, though, Billy. No question, it'll be his call. Yandel has a $5.25 million cap hit, but Patrick runs out after next season, so not much to add to that. We've got a first penalty of the game coming up here, a holding call. As Frederick Lacuyer makes the call. The Flyers, Greg Ruby, head coach, has talked about this. Have to get better starts with the, the first goals being allowed here tonight. 12 of the last 15 games they've allowed the first goal. They've been outscored heavily in the first period, and they just haven't been playing from in front very often. Not going to be able to do that at least for the next couple of goals here either. That is a hold that was called on the Coyotes. The Flyers get their crack at the power play, and if you call anything the Flyers' bread and butter at home, it has been their power play. There's your McDonald's power play payoff contested. Home power play, second best in the NHL. Vortek to Giroux, and he fanned on it. It goes through to Simmons for a backhander that was nullified in front. Right to Giroux, and then right back to Strike. Cross to Voracek. Voracek off of Brayden Shen, and the save by Smith. He just cradles that one. And we're going to face off in the Arizona zone, but great puck movement there by the fly. And great design on the power play from the half boards on that far side. Whoever is over there, there are a couple of options. This was the first miss by Claude Giroux, but when it back, went back over to the other side. Wayne Simmons is always in front. And Braden Shen is always between the hash marks. So whoever over is over there, whether it be Sprite or Voracek, they have two options. Here is Giroux with Simmons in front. Get it to, to Braden Shen. is shot blocked by McCulloch. Nobody in the game playing right now has blocked more shots than number four for the Coyotes. And he has another under his total right there. Fifth-ranked power play overall for the Flyers. As we said, second best on home ice. Here's Strike holding on and dealing to Giroux. That'll get set up again. Runs right back out at the line. The line and fire saves. Fifth rebound, Simmons. He scores! Wayne Simmons perseveres in front, and the Flyers are on the board. It's 2-1. to Tenth power play goal of the year for Wayne Simmons. He's among the league leaders as he scores for a case of tasty cake. Well, he had to think that he was owed one. He must have been talking to himself when he missed the first chance on this power play. This one, he had three cracks at it and finally found daylight beside Mike Smith's pad. Yeah, just staying with it. You're right, Billy, right at the side of the net. And look at Simmons on the third opportunity, just kind of slides it in politely <laughs> past Smith. And so the one you thought would least have the least chance of going in is the third one that, in fact, does go in. So what a great job by Wayne Simmons staying in there and hanging out in front of the net. How many of his power play goals have been just like that? He's also got the moves, of course, down low that he can call upon, but he stays in there after those rebounds. With those dirty goals. That's how you pile up power play goals. It's only Alexander Ovechkin in the last four seasons has more power play goals than Wayne Simmons. The goaltenders know when Simmons is in front, you better have your stick up on. Because if you leave even an eight-inch rebound, Simmons has a chance at it. Strite and Giroux with the assist. The 2 1 game. Yandel fires one in on Mason from Cetera. So stop that and hand off to Delzado. Mason will want to see some pucks fired in on him just like that last one, just to get into the flowy. He's not, I don't think, even had a full practice with the team in quite a while, unless you count the day of game skate. But he came in so quickly, he might have still been warm from the warm up. That's the good thing, man. Met. Fast off Andrew Campbell. And in his second game of the Coyotes this year, he's just up from the minors. He got his first NHL point with an assist on the Connor Murphy goal, which got the scoring started here tonight. Puck goes out of play. Wayne Simmons.
Tying Jake Borchek for team leadership with 17 goals. Matching his uniform number, it's 2-1. Well, Matt Reed is a bona fide 20-goal scorer in the NHL, but he's stuck on three. In the first half of this season, he didn't skate well, and it wasn't publicized. He had a high ankle sprain, but look at him track on this play. All the way over on Connor Murphy, and then he finished him against the boards. That's the kind of play the Flyers could really use from Matt Reed down this stretch here as they try to make a push for a playoff spot. That's the kind of skating that Matt Reed, we're so used to seeing him display on the ice. And his game is skating. Make no mistake about it. 20 games. Goal is dropped. His longest goal is dropped before this one, 12. So you know he's fully aware that it's been a long time between goals, but he skates like he did there and a couple other shifts in this game. That drought will come to an end. Here's strike sending one wide of the Arizona net. Flyers nearly doubling the counties and hits here early on. Wade Shen centering, but Nick Schultz is starting to head out toward his post at the blue line, and the puck then clear. Nick Schultz smartly doesn't linger too long right in the paint. Laura Jack, picked by Alessio. And will push it back around to strike. Picked up another point on that goal by the Flyers. So 19 of the last 25 games the Flyers have played. Mark Strike has a point. Tied with Dustin Buffett for the most points among NHL defensemen since December 3rd. It's offside is the call at the Philadelphia line. I want to let everybody know you can get a pair of tickets, a bottle of Chad's Ford Winery Flyers wine, a free tasting at any Chad's Ford location, and more, all for just $99 with the Flyers Valentine's Pack. And you can visit PhiladelphiaFlyers.com for available games. Plenty of them as the Flyers will be at home more than they'll be on the road from here on out. Starting with four in a row. Right out of the break. Winnipeg. Toronto coming in later this week. Sorry, that home stand. You mentioned the Coyotes before the break. Had three games on the road and now out of the break, five more in a row away from Glendale. Eight straight road games, not something that this franchise has done before. Myers battling for the puck. It's taken by Michael Stone. He'll go across ice to Yandel and he'll float one in. Advantage in shots. How does the advantage in goals? Ahead. Back to the ice. Ryan Smith that's picked up by Hansel across ice. Now Campbell shot. It was redirected actually by Erat. The save made by Mason. And that was his first big test so far. And he passed it with the legs. Yeah. That's a great save, guys. Big time stop right there. Adam Murphy ahead. Sam Gagne. Send it diagonally into the Philadelphia zone. Luke Shen first to it. Hips to Del Zotto. Zotto will chip it at, hoping for Vanderbilt. He actually bounces out to Belmar instead. Edward Belmar fires it in. Gloved by Smith, who loves to play the puck. Oh, yeah. And you can see he can do it all the way ahead, but knocked down with a high stick by Gagne, and so the whistle. Let's take a look at our Chevy player profile here tonight, and it is Ryan White of the Philadelphia Flyers and the return of Ryan White, the longtime Montreal Canadian. He was in Lehigh Valley for a little bit, guys, after coming back off that bicep tear he sustained in the off-season training uh, regimen he has back out in Western Canada. But he's a feisty guy. He plays hard, tries to set the tone physically for his teammates, brings energy. We'll see if he can provide that, especially with the absence of Zach Ronaldo in the lineup for the Flyers for the next eight games. Yeah, 11 games in the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. 39 penalty minutes. Yeah. Right, so yes, feisty indeed. Any questions? <laughs> exactly. Antoine Vermette across, you've got Shane Doan, the venerable Shane Doan, in across the line, waiting, and back across the ice, coming late is Ekman Larson, where to the side, and then it went off of Vermette. Another example, the defense joined the play for the Coyotes, now it's Voracek and Couturier, and two on two, but made the signals crossed, and eventually offside is called. Ryan White is a guy, too. He's just had 39 penalty minutes. He's not afraid to mix it up, guys, to stir stuff up. That's Sean Couturier we're looking at. But Ryan White, he's a guy who could be pretty effective, and I think the Flyers felt that depth kind of get hit a little bit when they lost him in the offseason. They signed him for that energy, and it uh, would have been neat to see him here all year and see how that would have been a, a change maybe the dynamics at times for the Flyers. Guys like that can help out a lot. Now, have those agitators. 
Here's Reed around behind him for Umberger. Back out, Nick Schultz. He will wind. He'll fire it. Deflected and went wide. And it's hammered out of the zone by Randy McMillan. Let's get it right back. Matt Reed. The Arizona line. Reed cutting to the middle. Drops it off for Schultz. Schultz a wrister. Saves Smith with Umberger waving his stick. As Umberger who scored a couple goals against these counties when these teams met in the desert. Nick Schultz seems like he's got his offensive radar working tonight. Up on the play. It's his second time deep into the zone with the shot. Good for Nick Schultz. He looks like he's skating really well. Yeah, Craig Bruby encourages all the defensemen to get up if you can. As long as you're joining the rush, not leading the rush. And that's one thing right there. Nick Schultz, anybody the defenseman can come from behind, grab the puck, get a good shot off, and then get back a good defensive uh, formation being at the blue line. That's exactly what Nick Schultz can do. Peter Strzok in on the four check. The Coyotes will move it ahead. Boy, not the ball wrapping up. This man is Kopikoski at the point, but the Coyotes still moving ahead. Kobe Reader will bank it into the Philadelphia end. Right back, here's Andrew McDonald. Spent his all-star break getting hitched. Flyers move the puck ahead. More on that later. Wayne Simmons cutting on in. And you're not talking about a U-Haul trailer. <laughs> I am not. Unless it was a very strange ceremony. And now the arm up out in center ice. Referee Francois Saint Laurent has spotted an interference penalty. There's on a power play when we come back. Cowdies with a 2-1 lead. In the first period, they have a power play coming up. Fires will be without Zach Ronaldo for the next eight games due to that hit on Chris Letang in the final game before the All-Star break. The league suspending Zach eight games. He had a lot of things going against him. Obviously, it's a hit from behind. He was off the ice. The puck had just bounced back in, but really had left the premises to begin with. And Zach, a repeat offender. So a lot of things going against him. All added up to an eight-game suspension. And Ryan White has uh, replaced him. <laughs> and line up, and he's replaced him in the penalty box right now with an interference. So he's, got, he's got Zach's seat. <laughs> so Zach will uh, be out for quite a while through the Columbus game. Mark return. First power play for the Coyotes. Flyers able to pick up the puck after a stick broke. Uh, the Coyotes player, and they send it all the way down. Power play not bad for Arizona. Seventh rank. And the Flyers penalty kill had been an issue, but boy, was it good against Pittsburgh when they went six for six including killing five minute power play that Zach Ronaldo major shorthanded for almost 15 minutes yeah, in that first period one of the reasons why they were outshot we talked about Ray Emery holding them in in that first period he made some big stops but the penalty kill is outstanding with work like that so Matt Reed knocks the puck back out into the neutral zone Coyotes better on the road 23.8 percent which is third best in the NHL up to the puck and Delzato will send it all the way down. They're letting him play quite a bit here. Well, I was holding my breath. Matt Reed looked like he had taken down Sam Gagne, but the refs let it go. 55 seconds remain on the white penalty, which was interference. And the Coyotes move in. Erat. Back on the pass out into the slot is tipped away. Stone fanning on a pass, but he gets it to Erat now. Back out Gandal. Shot caught off by Mason. I'm not sure if it changed direction, but. He had to fight it out just the same, and it's cleared all the way down by Delzato. I think it hit the stick on the blocker side of Steve Mason. And you're right, though. He tried to fight it off. That was a tough shot, and the rebound was sitting there for a second. Offside is Hansel. It's the Philadelphia line, so they'll face it off out instead. Let's get a look at that shot. It looks like he jumped a little bit. Let's get a replay of it. It did deflect. Yeah, it well, did. And it hits the blade of Steve Mason's stick on the way down. And, you know, we, we take our clues calling as many games as we do. We have good audio feeds into our ears. Right? Yeah. There are certain sounds that are foreign. And I thought, was that mask? Was it part of the stick? And it was the blade of the stick in the air. And you hardly ever see that. Yeah. It was a heck of a deflection. Yeah, Reader getting a stick on that, but he's been able to get in the way. There's Erat to Stone. Final 15 seconds of the Arizona power play. Now he's to get off the wall. It's Erat. Centering it. Now the shot goes high and wide. And up to Stone. There's Reeder who missed the target there. Got it now all the way out to Yandel. Yandel back in front. He ran tip save. Mason rebound. And he fought that one off too as Reeder couldn't get it past him. Flyers back to full strength. Some big stops there by Mason. White sends Reed to center. Right back to Ryan White. And he'll bank it in. 
and in on the four check as Will Reed. But the Coyotes come up with a buck. And the Flyers help with some big stops late by Mason. Fell off that Arizona power play. Chukchura lands on the ice. Now straight ahead. He's got Voracek. Voracek turning with it. Got it back to Strike. Strike to Shen. Back out. Giroux the blast. And that one stared by Smith as his Whoa. stick went flying. And he prevents the Flyers from tying the game. That had a lot on it. That's a t uh, an unbelievable stop by Smith. He's going one way, guys. What a great play out front by Shen. Right back, snags it. As his stick is falling out of his hands, that is tremendous goaltending right there. And I'm not sure the puck wasn't deflected on the way in. Smith was kind of in survival mode, and so was Steve Mason at the other end. Martin Erat has been all over the place. That went off Mason's mask. It looked like then off his shoulder. Nick Schultz clear on the front porch and allowing Steve Mason to track that all the way to the second save. Which is just about even in this game. That puck skipped out of play. We'll get another face-off in the Arizona zone with just over three minutes remaining in the period. Here's tonight's Jeep trivia question. Which season of Arizona's franchise marks their best regular season record? In other words, what year do they have their best record? 2009, 2010, 2010, 2011, or 2011, 2012? We'll give you the answer. A little bit later on. <laughs> I, I could have sworn that's what you were asking. Thank I, you. I knew what you were saying. The scary thing is I did proofread that earlier, and it made total sense to me. Thank you for boiling it down for the rest of us. <laughs> and when I tried to read it on the air, it didn't make any sense. But anyhow, what was their best year? Just moving to the desert. Of course, they moved from Winnipeg. Shane Doan was with the team when they moved from Winnipeg. Still. Well, how about that? He's not unbelievable. And still a very effective player. It's not like he's just hanging out. So he has been... Facing the franchise for quite a while. There he is, Don, number 19, stopped at the Philadelphia line. It's a hit on the board from Giroux, but works past it. Makes a nice move in across the line, then the pass back out. Nice and back out in front for Dome, but he was checked. And now it's back out. Call it, the line didn't fire. That goes up high off the glass. And Larson on it. Huberman. Well, the Mets pass intercepted by Luke Shen. He gets the four check. Who sends Braden Shen out to center? Braden Shen chipping left wing for Delzato. He'll just try to sweep that deeper. Now Shen trying to tip it back. But Delzato makes its way out to the neutral zone. Belmont waiting for Braden Shen to get out of the zone. Dumping it back in. Tally taken off the puck. Flyers move up. Pass missing the Collier. Stoliakovo jammed him with that pass. Now Belmont, quick shot, fought off. Gotten back. The Collier trying to get out in front with it. And it's melted down by Smith, bringing him out the whistle. Front of Mike Smith. There are the penalty killing partners Van de Velde and Belmar talking it over. Flyers power play has been a big weapon for them. They have several players up near the top of this list. Power play points and Claude Giroux is now at the very top. Voracek's there right below Voracek is Strike Simmons with 10 power play goals. And those are your weapons. That first unit in the power play is uh, very effective. Speaking of weapons, his fourth line for the Flyers is out there again and doing a terrific job of pressuring and forcing in the offensive zone. It's no wonder Craig Berube has not wanted to break them up since he put them together. Yeah, he's had many opportunities with injuries or illness to maybe shuffle those lines. All the other lines have been mixed up. This one stayed put. And you can see why. Tally sends the puck in. Mason. Andrew McDonald. Head off to Turi, and then Sean gathers the puck and skates up with it in across the line. On the right wing, Voracek. Voracek centers, that deflects and goes wide. Back around behind, Voracek has it again. Out to the point, winding and firing with strike. That one deflected and wide. On Schultz, jamming it back around just out of the reach of Simmons. Turi to it, back out to strike. Drifting toward the middle and then finding Schultz. Schultz from the angle, centers, shot! And Umberger had that one knocked aside up into the safety netting. R.J. Umberger. Prime scoring position, but Smith had other ideas. What great puck movement, and, and again, good movement and decision by Nick Schultz to drift down to the half boards here and then get it out to R.J. Umberger right off the top of the noggin. The mask of Mike Smith. Bing! Hey, it looked as though uh, Smith had no problems using the mask in the head to make that save. Well, Smith is 6'4". That would tell you that the Umberger shot might have been a tad high. Still brings back memories of Roman Czech Monic, though, doesn't it? For you, the one and only. 
The author is a cranium camera, right? Well, he used to try to do it. I don't think Smith tried to do that one. Here's Nick Schultz with it, 55 seconds remaining in the period. And ahead to Umberger. Umberger moves up with it, turns, looks back, he fires changing the defenseman. Simmons holding off one coyote as Couturier goes after the puck. Couturier all the way across to Delzato. With some room, he'll wind up and fire. Rocker saves Smith, it bounces high in the air. Added toward the boards. Gagne is checked. Puck bounces ahead now to Erat. Erat, Beckman Larson. From the red line, he'll send it in. Final 25 seconds of the period. Zada goes down in the heap in the corner. Gagne gets the puck, but Angel had also gone to the ice and could not catch up to that puck in the Flyers. Could. Time for one more push toward the Philadelphia zone. Here's Stone winding it into the Philadelphia end. It deflects out. Reader back out to Yandel. It's a deep. Stone over skates. As Shen will get to it. Head for Voracek, and the horn sounds, ending period number one. So the Flyers spot the Coyotes two goals, then get one back, and really picked up the pace of their play as that period went along. Simmons the goal for the Flyers. Erat's goal, the difference right now, 2-1 Arizona after 20. Tonight's Flyers Coyotes first period was brought to you by Kia. To learn more, visit Kia.com. By Rothman Institute at Jefferson, exclusive orthopedic and health care provider of the Philadelphia Flyers. And by your Philadelphia Super Network Buick GMC dealers. Downstairs we go. Mysterian set to chat for the Flyers goal score in period number one. Super, kind of an interesting start. Is it? It's all, it's awfully tough, I think, sometimes on a player to come back after a long break. You think that was the case probably the first five, seven minutes? Yeah, obviously we didn't play the way we wanted to the first little bit of the game, but um, you know, I thought we got into it after and we played good hockey. Yeah, uh, power play clicking as it has pretty much the whole year here at home. Tell us about that goal that you had. Um, those guys made a great play. You know, they were moving the puck really well, and you know, we had some opportunities before that. And, you know, Stroder took a great shot. I tipped it and got my own rebound. Wayne, thanks very much. Thanks, Wendy. Wayne Simmons, his 10th power play goal and his 12th goal here at home. Michael Barkan, El Morgani, Intermission Live, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Next, 2-1, Arizona after one. Wayne Simmons getting the Flyers back within one. 20 minutes in the books. Here are the numbers, courtesy of Rothman Institute at Jefferson. Well, the scoring chances are 7-7, seven to seven, but I don't know. From where I was sitting, the Flyers seemed to carry the play to the Coyotes, and that might be because they out-hit them 18-12. to 12. Now he's got the first two, Connor Murphy and Martin Erat, and then Wayne Simmons cutting that lead in half. Our GFC at NHL update takes you to Pittsburgh. The Winnipeg Jets will be in here on Thursday. Taking on the Penguins, and it's Nick Spalling getting the scoring started right there. The Penguins without Sidney Crosby, without Evgeny Malkin. As they play that game in Pittsburgh, Chris Thorburn has scored in the second period for Winnipeg to tie that game at one apiece. Penguins, by the way, do have Chris Letang in the lineup for that game, so he's come back from the concussion that uh, he received from that hit. Zach Renault, he did miss one game before the break there against Chicago, but uh, back in the lineup tonight. Other out-of-town scores appearing at the top of the screen as the NHL gets back into action. Ten games tonight. Islanders-Rangers becoming a rivalry again. You we'll know that the Islanders are as competitive as they are. Boy, what a big loss for them. Kyle Oposo, no doubt. six to eight weeks. And so they have to find a new running mate for John Tavares. It's a huge injury news through the All-Star break with Poso and Sergei Bobrovsky is going to be out long-term. And Phaneuf and the X out in Vancouver as well. Penalty upcoming against Arizona as Giroux gets to the puck here. Giroux to Nick Schultz. He is checked. He has to go back now. Empty net down in the Philadelphia zone. His pass across tipped by Reeder and there's a whistle. Upset people down there. The Flyers will get a face-off in the offensive zone. Well, we will title this the art 
of getting somebody to take a penalty against you. Jay Voracek just used his body to shield and shield and shield some more against Oliver Ekman Larson. And at some point you become an octopus when Jake kind of nestles into your chest and you can't do anything but take a penalty. Yeah, you know, I think that's one thing that Jake has done so much better this year, uh, Billy, than in, in, in years past. You know, he's going into the traffic with the puck, fighting more with the puck. And I think that's what's made a difference in his game, why he's become that supreme player in the NHL. Second power play for the Flyers. They scored with their first. There's your McDonald's power play payoff contested. And the Flyers, after the puck, Warcheck could not come up with that one, though. And it's Erat moving up with it. Erat, pass that's knocked down. Then Warcheck got picked up by Erat. And the Flyers have the puck back. Strike moves up and drops it back to Giroux. Oh, Giroux in across the line. Always looking things over as he handles the puck, gets it back out to Strike. And now Warcheck, one timer and a rocket that went wide. Giroux tried to keep it in, could not. And now out in center ice, he'll play it back out to Strike. Looking to move it right back up ice, he does. Chen to Voracek, Voracek across, who has to play it off the boards. He's knocked down by Murphy, does pitch it forward for Simmons, and he'll jab it out to Voracek. Voracek in along the boards all the way to the corner. And now back out, Strike. Tujuru, the one-timer deflects and goes off. Like, Butts up the other side, Chen. Had a crack at it, but he found the side of the net. Now it's Voracek. Center point, Strike. Tujuru, Chen now in the slot. Simmons, boys ready at the side of the net. Puck comes across to Voracek for the shot. Save Smith. Rebound all the way out to Giroux. Back across Voracek. In front, Simmons checked by Murphy, and he could not finish it. Out of Murphy saving a goal there. Here's Shen. To Giroux across Voracek. What puck movement. Back in front, it's tipped. Bounces back out to strike. To Giroux, one timer, and that one goes wide and all the way down the ice. Convinced they just kept moving that puck around, guys. These Arizona players are exhausted right now. And Drew missed the net on that far side going for it. And that allowed them to get the change. The Flyers changing as well. Here's Couturier moving up. Couturier zigs and zags into the corner and then chips it back up. Luke Shen a shot. That's batted away in front. Couturier races over to get to it. Power play is over. Cowdy's back to full strength as Luke Shen tried to send that in along the boards, but it went out of play. Mark Strike, part of that power play unit that was moving the puck around so adroitly there moments ago, and he had an assist on the Flyers' power play goal in the first period, and since December 3rd, he and Big Buff lead the way in the NHL in terms of points by Blue Line. And I think Mark Strike has done a really good job of late the last month, maybe month and a half, of finding seams, moving more on the Blue Line, and making sure there's daylight to get that cannon-like shot of his loose and when he gets it going or he can pick up assists even if he just gets a rebound from it had read after a loose puck he's got it or couturier Menzel, check he comes in gets the puck now Domberger for a shot and a save by smith no rebound again good puck retrieval by the flyers umberger in a good shooting position again but smith with an answer Umberger a little frustrated remember it was rj that hit mike smith in the mask in the first period from about this range. You see RJ perched right there. That's a good spot to be. On top of the circles, he got a good shot off too. RJ had a great game against Arizona about a month ago in the desert. He scored two third period goals. Flyers have fallen behind 3-0. He scored twice to get them within one before an empty netter. Final four, two. There's a shot that deflected Smith, making the save. I thought I heard a ping there, but it must have been a stick off the post as Buck did not make his way through. Here's Umberger at his night in the desert, and he almost had a hat trick if I'm not mistaken, guys, out here too with the goalie pulled at the end. He was all over the place in the third. Good night for RJ. Flyers falling short. They had a tough start in that hockey game, and that allowed. Uh, the Coyotes to pull ahead at the end here and stay ahead at the end with the empty net goal you just mentioned, Jimmy. Go for the neutral zone. And Andrelli able to swing it in to the Arizona zone. Handle back. Ahead. He's got Lucas Lesio, the 22-year-old, who scored his first NHL goal in the last game for the Coyotes. 
Donald will reverse this after his first try at the referee. The Cavalier will move it ahead. There's Vandeveld with that three-game goal streak. Oh, a nice pass, but the play is called on the offside. Connor Murphy with words for Pierre Edouard Belmar because he got rid of the shot after the whistle. Hasn't Connor seen the video of Pierre Edward Belmar's fight against Pittsburgh? <laughs> You might want to <laughs> take a look at that devastating right because <laughs> he did knuckle awesome. that guy up pretty good though. Yep. Well, Yakubo is the player who's offside here. Not by much, but he was. Yeah, Pierre Edwards uh, had that fight against Pittsburgh. Guys like he was involved in his in his hundredth career fight. <laughs> Casually took the mask off, the the, the helmet, and went about his business of winning a fight. All Convincingly. Fights. Yeah. <laughs> All those fights in that game, suddenly the Flyers have 21 on the year, and they're fifth in the NHL. Edwin went right down near the bottom for a long time in terms of fights. They've been a little bit more active of late. Wayne Simmons has been in some scraps and all those fights against Pittsburgh. Ekman Larson sends it across ice. Franco could not clear the zone. And the Coyotes go to work. Don't cross ice. Read by the Flyers and Sprite. Tipped it away, and now Nick Schultz do it. Sprite. Sprite will move it ahead. One-handed ahead by White. He is checked by Campbell. Now he's moved in, but play is called on the outside. Let's take a look at our Geico quote of the game, guys. It's Mark Strike. And I think what he says here, as you read along, is that they've got to kind of remain together here. They don't have a, a, a margin for error like they did earlier in the year in, in October and November. So, you know, you can't go through losing streaks. You have to put together a semblance of winning streaks here. If the Flyers are going to make it 12 points out starting tonight, then you've got to go on a run somewhere. And you can't really have any uh, any momentum lapses or, or bad moments in tight games because that'll cost you two points or at least an opportunity to get to overtime and get that point or two points. 34 games remaining. Jake Voracek estimated the Flyers have to win close to 25 of those in his estimation to get into the playoffs 20 to 25 range so no can't have any losing streaks if you're going to win that many games so he's saying 50 points essentially is what it is that would give him mid 90s yep flyers moving up and they are unable to do much with that three on two and now the coyotes in a counter rush and so with the puck chips it in Lozano throws his weight the puck off the side of the net now bounces out in front Flyers there Braden Shen did not clear and back deep, Erat checked by Luke Shen. And now Hansel with the puck. Luke Shen intercepts his pass. And now Luke Shen will find Giroud. Kicks it effortlessly off of his skate to his stick. Pivots. And now gets to Delzato. From the red line, he hoisted it into the Arizona end. And he tied. Much of this team, you're tempted to say Phoenix, but they are now the Arizona Coyotes. Couturier fires that one wide. Out of the reach of Koliakovo and all the way down the ice. Henry McDonald. Wants his back to get to it. Koliakovo up the middle, and that's a turnover. Back hit by McMillan. Chip Churro looking for the puck. Koliakovo maneuvered it to McDonald, and now it's Umberger. RJ Umberger. Pass that's got Reed. Reed. Gets through Connor Murphy. Matt Reed around behind the net. Centers it in front. Jammed wide by Umberger, who has had several chances here in this game. Just has not been able to bury it. Now in center ice, Chip Chur to McMillan. McMillan sends one in. Easy save for Mason. Steers it out in front. Mason replacing Ray Emery at the 550 mark of the first period. Emery had allowed two goals. Mason stopped everything fired his way so far. The seven shots. There's Reed sending it in to the Coyote zone. Fires changing as Stone gets to handle. Stone up and out, but Schultz is on that. Schultz, strike, defense pair. Schultz, quick wide feed, the Cavalier stabbing back around behind the net. Mandevelli crashes in after. Mandevelli to the Cavalier. Going to protect the puck now. Swings it up the wall, but it never makes it to strike. Reader, though, is taken away by Belmont. But then it's out to center ice. That puck hit the referee on the way out to the refs are in play. But there was a play about three minutes ago where the puck would have gone into the Flyers bench on the Flyers power play, but it hit the linesman in the chest, and the Flyers were able to bring more pressure. 
against Phoenix. So some work in your favor and some against. Sam Gagne after this puck. Gagne check. Back. Rosado got enough of him and now Braden Chen. Ice pass to Voracek. Steam rolling out to center ice. Voracek swings wide to the left wing. Looks in the middle. Voracek around behind and out the other side. Finds Luke Chen. He played into the corner, but over there for the Flyers. Gagne will get to Hansel. He'll just lob it down the ice. So Luke Chen has to go back and get it as we approach the eight minute mark of this second period. Still 2 1, Arizona. Braden Chen in. Pass all the way back to Simmons, who winds and blasts deflection. Save Smith as he got the pad out on it. Oyakovo, Simmons, making it deep into Arizona ice. Ekman Larson will get to McCulloch. Okay. McCulloch across ice. Lesio will tip to the red line. Right there was Straka. Feel it deep. A little confusion behind the net. They centered Simmons' shot, and it does not go. Again, Smith losing his goal stick. He's trying to get it back, but it bounces out into the slot. Here's McCulloch behind the net. Set it up the boards, kept in. Nicole Iacobo, Smith still without a stick. Here's a shot. And actually, it was a pass for Simmons. Went off his stick to the corner. Simmons back to it. Center shot. Smith the save as he denies White. And no further play. Smith has done some of his best work without a goal stick here tonight. Mike Smith in goal for the Arizona Coyotes has been a busy cat in this second period. The Flyers really coming at him and some of his own players coming at him as well. Wayne Simmons with a chance when Smith was out of the net. Oliver Edmund Larson with a sliding save. And Smith was out his stick was finally able to squeeze it. Remember, he made a tremendous save on a blast in the first period when he didn't have his stick. He doesn't seem to need it very much unless he wants to make a pass with it. Jake Ford checking the Flyers, try to go right back to work in the offensive zone, but good job of checking there by Doan. And moving across to Reeder. Reeder met by Sprite at the Philadelphia line. Drew just pitches it ahead. Here's Voracek on the right wing. The deep, the backhander, and the save made by Smith. Braden Shen. Check for the crowd. He's moving back the other way. Schultz hustles back. Gets it to Sprite. Sprite for Voracek. That pass tipped away. Hansel gets to it. Checked by Jake Forge. And now Sprite will get to Schultz again. The outlet for Giroux. But knocked away by Hansel. Popped right back deep into the Philadelphia zone. Myers have outshot the county 7 to 1 here in this second period. 23 to 11 for the game. But they trail where it matters. 2 to 1. Reed with the move. He gets to Ron Yandel. The shot. Save Smith. Reed has extra jump in this game. Now Yandel moving up, finds Erat. Erat, Rister snared by Mason. He'll squeeze it. Well, you want to talk about playing defense, guys, and how you want to cut down on angles in this league. You're going to look right now at Keith Yandel. You see Voracek at that half breakaway. Yandel comes over, and what he does, he pushes Voracek back to his backhand, so he stays there, the least dangerous play. He knows he's not going to get him. He knows Voracek's going to get a shot off. But what does he do? Gives him the least or the, the, the chance with the least the percentage of that puck going in the net. It's a really good play by Yandel. Donna Murphy a shot. That hit off the shin pad and it was knocked down in front. Flyers unable to come up with the puck. It's Chipchura instead for Arizona. Turning and then stripped by Umberger. Umberger moves it to the middle of Couturier. He'll push it into the Arizona end. Smith well out of his net to bank it out to center. Luke Shen. Check. Turned it over, but offside go the Coyotes. Fires with a big edge and shots, but the Coyotes still lead by one. We're back. Two on Coyotes. Well, how did you spend the All Star break? Here are two guys who had different types of breaks. Pro Drew. Drew. He was chosen as part of the fantasy draft and participated for Team Felino against his teammate, Jake Borachek. And he and Patrick Kane had some fun in the breakaway drill. He do that. Andrew McDonald, on the other hand, went to the Bahamas and all he did was get married. This is lovely new bride, former Haley Sats. And uh, Andrew McDonald has some teammates down there Nick Grossman, Mark Strike, Ray Emery, uh, Luke Shen, I believe, all attending his nuptials down in the Bahamas. So you can play in the All Star game, you can get married, you can do a lot of things during the All Star break.
Coach Clement went to New Orleans. It's all about spare time at some point. Back to business now, though, as the Flyers trying to get themselves on a run, but they're finding this. Coyotes seem to be quite pesky here. Flyers taking play to the Coyotes largely here since the early going, but having trouble solving the final line of defense. Mike Smith here of late. And Eldis in the corner. The puck comes free, and the Coyotes are all over. Where Kropakoski moves up. And they just flip it into the Philadelphia zone. Goliakovo is back. 32nd birthday for Carlo Goliakovo. Moves the puck ahead. Vandevelde to Collier and then right back to Vandevelde. Harassed by Hansel. Ryan Wake comes in with the puck bounces ahead. And here's Erat. Erat with wide feed for Hansel. And he drops it back. Anye could not get any further with it. And Murphy with a pass. It's tipped. Stays in the zone. He's one-handed into the corner by Gagne. And a push from behind, gets that puck free, as Erat will center, but it goes off with Mason's stick and out to the neutral zone. Murphy is back to play it. So Andrew Campbell and then into the Philadelphia zone. Ryan White's the first to it. He'll drop it off for McDonald. McDonald for Simmons, but he is checked. Campbell gets it back to the Philadelphia line. Cole Yakubo comes up with it there and gives to Ryan White. And across the line, a wrist shot, easy save for Smith there. White keeps the puck alive all the way to Nick Schultz, who will push it around behind the net, tracking that down the Coyotes. And Campbell, this reader with that pass, though, and Strike gets it back to Simmons. 7.42 remaining in the second period. Simmons will lob one out to the neutral zone, and it finds Ryan White, who's at the end of his shift. Just deposits the puck into the Arizona end. Not a lot of ice time in this second period with the Flyers trailing by a goal for a couple of guys playing their first games in Flyers uniform. Peter Stronka playing his first NHL game. And Ryan White, who just dumped the puck in before going off for a shift change. A miscommunication between Mason and Luke Shen, but the Flyers live to tell about it as they clear the zone. Hammered back in by Eckman Larson. And now it's striking. All the way out off of Braden Shen. And they wave off the icing at the last moment. Stone has to play it. Bounces it to Yandel. And Yandel off from behind his net. A pass that was off the skate. Bounces it to Couturier. Warcheck reaching for it, but it's Yandel. And he'll move it ahead. Pekoski across the line. The wrist shot. Brought off by Mason to the corner. Delzato and Vermette all tangled up. Couturier gets the puck. Outlets on Berger. RJ's had a lot of chances in this game. Looks to create another one. Backhanded around behind, all the way out. Reed is there. Reed, in the maneuver. Got the puck to Umberger. Umberger to Couturier, back out. McDonald fires wide, rebound, save! Smith did the splits to deny Umberger again. Umberger for Couturier, a shot that trips wide. Now it's McDonald getting to it. McDonald waiting. Holds all the way across. Umberger again, shot! He The Coyotes, ninth overall, he scored for a case of Tasty Cake. Well, this is why you just keep plugging. On the verge of possibly having nightmares about Mike Smith after that save Smith made on Umberger, RJ got another chance and said, uh-uh, I know where I'm going on this one. Way up high on the short side to beat Smith. That's a great shot by RJ, staying in the same position. Nice feed for McDonald. Short side upstairs, it's a great shot. See how excited the bench is, too. Right back in this hockey game up for a slow start. Guys fall behind 2 0. Flyers have battled back and they've dominated the second period. RJ Umber here. A whole bunch of chances in this game. Finally gets one to pay off. Couturier and McDonald with the helpers. You almost have to think that RJ saw something, a little bit of daylight up there, maybe even before he got that scoring chance. Mike Smith is 6'4", he's as big as Steve Mason, usually not that much room high to the short side. RJ saw something. As the shot squeezes through and deflects off of Schultz just wide in the Philadelphia net. Now it's right in heavy traffic. And he's looking for some open ice, nudges it back to Nick Schultz. Schultz to Voracek. Voracek hands it off back to Schultz. 
His alley oop is knocked down by Hansel. His pass ahead, tipped away by Strike, but then Schultz could not come up with it. Hansel is shut off the post. Sloppy play from the Flyers here. Ekman Larson will get it to into the corner. And they back out for Ekman Larson, but his attempt does not get deep. Braden Shen jumps on it. Break wide, three intercepted by Ekman Larson. He'll move it back to Gagne. And into the Philadelphia zone it goes. Schultz squeezing that one through for a strike as we tick down to five minutes remaining in this second period. And Pollock has the puck. It's tipped by Giroux. Bounces into the Philadelphia zone. Strike has to go a long way to get to it. He's got to deal with Shane Doan once he gets there. Doan wins a lot of those battles. He comes away with the puck here. But his pass is over the stick of the call. The Flyers looking to get a change. will get some fresh legs on the ice. Bounces all the way down. Wide of Mason. Luke Shen around for Delzato out of his reach. But LeCavalier is there. And now Michael Delzato will start a rush. Pass for LeCavalier with a touch pass intercepted. Flyers. Passes here since scoring that tying goal. Not keeping it as simple as they once were, and that puck cleared all the way down. This will be icing against Philadelphia. Well, we want to remind everyone that Penn State takes on the University of Vermont in the third annual Philadelphia College Hockey Faceoff. That's happening this Saturday, right here at the Wells Fargo Center. And great seats are still available at ComcastTix.com. The great spectacle of college hockey. Yeah, great hockey doubleheader. Got that game followed by the Flyers game against the Leafs. Flyers win the defensive zone draw. Here's Delzato. Air underneath that out to center right. Handle. Pass to Erek. And now the pass on the left wing for Gagne. He'll drop it back. Yandel a shot deflected. Bounces to the slot. Luke Shen pushed it at Strucker without a stick. And the Coyotes will keep it in. Here's Yandel. Going to get away from Simmons. Changing direction back across for Stone. Stone drops it along for Gagne. Gets it on by Shen. But gets it back. Gagne across ice. Yandel. His pass off his skate tipped. Will it make it to center? Yes. Flyers need to get Strzok off the ice. He instead goes to the bench and gets a stick and stays on the ice. But here's Hansel with the puck. The back at her. Oh, save Mason. And he'll hang right on. We'll be back. Let's take a look at our power back rehabilitation comeback goal of the game. And from that man you just saw, R.J. Umberg, a nice pass from McDonald upstairs. That's a good quick shot by R.J up over the shoulder of Mike Smith to tie the game. That is power back. Rehabilitation, comeback, goal of the game. And tonight at 11, check out the Flyers' best plays from the first half of the season. Plus, Wayne Simmons shares why he's not doing his job unless he's annoying the opposition. Watch the Orange Line presented by Bradford Whitewater Heaters right here on Comcast Sports Day. Annoyed Coyotes to Wayne Simmons by Scoring in the power play to get the Flyers' comeback started. They've leveled the score at 2-2, but since tying the game, the Coyotes have had some chances, and the Flyers have turned the puck over a little bit. And they're going to be offside as they play the puck in here. Where it was upended and sort of slid into the zone. Matt Reed has had a terrific hockey game, including a check in the first period. That is our Wells Fargo great check of the game. On defenseman Connor Murphy, Matt Reed came all the way from the other corner with a great speed to track Murphy down. And that's our Wells Fargo great check of the game. Matt Reed has done more than just that yet. The best I've seen Matt Reed skate in a long time. With and without the puck. Yeah, he's been winning battles, also winning races to pucks. That shot from center is went into the midsection of Smith. Oh, I think he hits it even up in this game. Goes for even. Get to the, this bucket, it'll be Schultz getting there. And a lot of times, when you see a team lead and hits, it's because they're spending time in their own zone. A lot of those hits are defensive hits. The Flyers are the early lead and hits, but the Dowdies come back and even things up pretty much. Well. Larson across ice for McCall and then ahead. Now in the middle, Reader. The wrist shot blocked off by Koliakovo. Second try. 
right through the slot and then back out to center ice. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining in this second period. Andrew Campbell, one time minor league goal, will send that into the Philadelphia zone. Right body there, tries to stay with it as David Moss is in on Drew there to help out his defenseman, but the puck to Opakoski. Throws it around the other side of the ice. Turns with it, in behind the net to Chip Chura. Strike goes to the ice, Chip Chura still has control, tried to center, couldn't get it out in front. Strike reversing it, but not getting much on that, and so the Coyotes are over after it again. Chip Chura, Korpikoski, it bounces free, and the Flyers have it now, and it's Umberger clearing it ahead. That is Campbell. Head for Chip Chura, the Montreal Canadian, will move it into the Philadelphia zone. Shen nudges it to Voracek and now Giroux trying to hit Braden Shen in center. He's got it. Shen cutting to the middle, dropped it back for Giroux. He kept it in the zone, but he was deposited to the ice. Erat picks up the puck. Looking for Yandel off his skate. Bouncing puck gathered finally by Gagne, and then he is his pocket picked by Voracek. Belmar back to Voracek. To the line, Voracek with the pass. And the shot, they score! Ring off the post. Chances of late, but Michael Delzato able to finish the rush. He scores for a case of tasty kick. What a great decision by Delzato to jump up in the play. We talked about room short side high. Great much there, folks, even on RJ Umberger's goal. But Michael Delzato said, well, if he can pick it, I'm going to pick it too. And did he ever? Yeah, you know what, Bill, you're right. And, and that's exactly it. There's something there for both guys to go upstairs over the blocker and the shoulder of Mike Smith. That's a tremendous shot by Delzato. Well done joining the rush, and Flyers have come all the way back. What a great second period. Delzato points now in four straight games, five points over that stretch. As he has come back after, remember, he was a healthy scratch for a while. He's been playing some good on. Let's take a look at our Independence Blue Cross fearless play of this hockey game, and it's Mike Smith right off the mask. R.J. Emberger who's had a been a Coyote killer this year. Mike Smith is the Independence Blue Cross fearless play winner for that right there off the top of the mask, making the save. Voracek and Belmar get the assist on that goal by Delzato. Voracek so increasing his NHL high point total. Don't lose his bucket, cross. he's got Reader, breakaway in on goal, he scores! The Coyotes get it right back. Tobias Reader beating Mason on the breakaway, it's tied at three. 37 seconds away from going into the second intermission with the lead, and now the Flyers have to ponder this. What a shot, though. Everybody's going high into the crossbar, and that includes the Coyotes on this one. Yeah, Toby forget, Reader, good shot. Forget the breakaway in itself. It's how he got the breakaway, and that's more the critical point. You can see all those flyer bodies. There's one guy up the ice. It's a tremendous pass going on the stick of Reader. He's going to score on a lot of breakaways. Anybody is, but can't give up that pass, guys, after he just uh, took the lead in this game. 38 seconds after they had taken their first lead. That lead is gone. 28 seconds remaining in the period now as the puck bounces down into the Bowdy zone. Handel making it ahead. He's got Korpagoski. It's a pass McDonald. Schultz thrown to the ice. McDonald to the puck. Korpagoski pursuing him, but McDonald moves it ahead to Couturier and now Reed. Reed will jam it off the boards. He moves it ahead. Umberger there. Five seconds remaining in the period. To Couturier and his pass off the mark to McDonald. And that will end period number two. Largely a good period for the Flyers. They score twice, but they give one up late as Reeder ties things at three after 40 minutes of four. Tonight's Flyers Coyotes second period was brought to you by Geico. 50 minutes can save you 15% on car insurance. And by your local Chevy dealers. Downstairs we go. Chris Terrian set to chat with R.J. Umberger. R.J., you've had great success against Arizona this year. Two chances on that one shift. What exactly were you looking at the second time? Well, I just want to get back to the net. Uh, Mac made a good play to get to me there. Uh, we just found a spot up high. 
You guys had the 3-2 lead, give up that goal late. What are the keys to the third period? You guys had a very good second period, obviously. Well, I want to keep getting them in their zone, a four check. Turned a lot of pucks over. You know, we won the period still, but uh, I think there's a little bit better we can do. We can stop turning the puck over as well. RJ, thanks very much. Good luck in the third. Thank you. RJ Umberger scored six goals in his last 14 after only three in his first 35. Michael Barca and Al Morgani are next with Intermission Live, brought to you by your Delaware Valley Honda dealers. 3-3 after two. Tonight's third period on Comcast Sportsnet is brought to you by Honda. Start something special with a great deal on a Honda. And by the Pennsylvania Lottery. Get all your favorite number games, new simpler names. Easy to play, simple to say, must be 18 years or older to play. For the start of the third and through two, this one is even at three. Here are the other numbers brought to you by Rockford Institute at Jefferson. The Flyers took it away from Arizona in the scoring chance department, but we're tied at three going into the third. Leading the shot totals, R.J. Umberger with five for the Flyers in the hit parade. Led by Claude Giroux, the Flyers captain, with six hits so far in this game. There's a scoring break down the second period. R.J. Hamburger's third goal this year against the Coyotes. Alzado's fourth of the year. And then Elias Reeder tied it back up at three GMC NHL update. The Battle of New York. The Islanders and Rangers. And the Islanders without Kyle Oposo. Hasn't mattered. Mikhail Grubowski got them a goal in the first period to make it 1-0. And then Matt Martin, his seventh of the year. He's known for his hits right here. Pops that rebound into the empty net. Two nothing Islanders as they have started the third period at Nassau Coliseum. We have started the third period here. Philadelphia, who whistles is seven seconds in. Face off outside the flyer zone. There is Drew with those six hits. He's come back from the all-star break in a physical move. We well, got a chance to skate a couple of times during the five-day break that everybody else had without skating. So, well, the guys that got to play in the All-Star game are all loose for tonight. If you call that All-Star game <laughs> skating, well, they got to Riveting. put the gear on. Yes, <laughs> that was the hardest part of the game. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> the most energy expended, perhaps, putting the equipment on. Yeah, uh, a lot of offense, obviously, not any defense. Record set. Drew had three points for a check. Tying Mario Lemieux's record with six points, but it was a limited checking kind of hockey to the a new degree. This was energy from Jake Voracek. Huh? Yeah, don't forget the Bud Light Tuesday night pack includes a ticket, a Dietz and Watson hot dog, and a 24-ounce beverage starting at 55 bucks. Just visit PhiladelphiaFlyers.com for available Tuesday games. Yeah, you didn't know that was part of a promo, did you? I did not. No? Okay. That's called a segue, isn't it? Something yeah. like that. It's a two-wheel vehicle the cops drive at the airport. I didn't get any time to read the promo. All right. Flyers after the puck in their own zone. Reed. Pirouette and then finds Umberger. No backhand in. Arizona. Fit stops it and moves it ahead. Coyotes have had their problems in the third period. Flyers want to try to take advantage of that. Here's Gagne getting it to Hansen. Worked down by Delzato. Got it back out to Yandel. The wrist one that's deflected, but drifts wide. Sure, he ain't back. It's to Luke Shen. Now it's ahead. Precise pass from Reed. Could not be handled by Couturier. Sent back in by Stone. And play is called on the offside. John Couturier with a big game so far in the faceoff circle. Winning 8 of 12 through two periods. Doesn't have a shot on goal yet. But R.J. Umberger is taking care of that department for that line with Matt Reed and Sean Couturier. R.J. with a goal and five shots. It is Straka moves the puck to center. Simmons is on it, trying to turn it ahead. Now instead he'll take it himself in across the line. Deals to Koliakovo, wrist shot! It took a peek to his side, but it's in his equipment. A lot of news and notes from around the NHL as the league gets back into play. Mike Richards. Placed on waivers and today cleared waivers and he will be 
joining the AHL's Manchester Monarchs. The Kings sending him down. Martin Brodeur has decided to retire as a player, and he'll join the Blues front office in the management role. At least that's according to reports. News conference scheduled for Thursday. We told you about Jake Ford checking his big night at the All-Star game. But uh, certainly, I think surprising news. Oh. The decline of Mike Richards yeah. alone so quickly yeah. is shocking. Well, his, you know what happened, guys? His skating goes, and then the body goes, and then all of a sudden you're, you're playing catch-up the whole night, and that's been a tough grind for him. Hey, two Stanley Cups and Olympic gold has had himself a, a good run, but money ultimately ended up really costing him at the end. If he's making a million dollars, he's playing on the fourth line and no one's saying anything. The problem is he's making six million a year, and that's the issue. He's won at whatever level. Every play. level. The American Royal League. Cup, yeah. yeah. So... He's had a heck of a career, but he's still not quite to his 30th birthday. It's coming up. And that's that's it. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah I think that he should still have some hockey left in him, but with that big number in terms of his salary, things sort of change. Here's Voracek. Around behind. Jake Voracek. Looking in front, cross ice pass, tips to Giroux. Giroux settled it, and his shot blocked. He takes a cross check for Murphy. Fires get it back. Shot redirected by Giroux, and the save made by Smith. Stop there by the Arizona goaltender. As Shen tried to set it to Voracek, that's broken up. And the Coyotes are moving all the way down. They missed fire in the pass, though, so icing is the call. Boy, good scoring chance and another big hit by Claude Giroux against the biggest Coyotes forward, Martin Hansel. But Jake Voracek was just shooting for this deflection. Oh, and he got it, but it didn't have much steam on it by the time it got to Mike Smith. Still a heck of a play and almost redirected oh, yeah. off the stick of that of, uh, of young Connor Murphy. That, and that's a dangerous play. Smith with a good pad leg throws it out just in time. Big butterfly goalies cheat yeah. though. They, they cheat. <laughs> they, they take away every bit of ice down low. Hey, hot, hot, hot. I, I guess that's the idea. That's it is. They do now. That's it what is. they do. That's what they're taught. 18 to 12 advantage for the Flyers in chances. I hit three goal categories. We approach the three-minute mark for this third period. Yandel, back the puck down. David Moss, get to the middle of the ice, but Reed takes over there. The Flyers look to start up. Good Shen, off the stick of Couturier in the Arizona end of the ice. Set up the wall. Korpikoski beat to the puck by Umberger. And Delzato checked that, but he is then checked and Coyotes move up. Here's Chip Chura with a shot. St. Mason gathers the puck just in front of Moss. And no further play. Yeah, While well, they check out Steve Mason as he took a snow shower there. Right up into the mask. We will tell you the answer to tonight's Jeep trivia question of the game. The best season for the Coyotes since moving to the desert was 2009-10. 107 points. They had 50 wins that year. They had a good run going until missing the playoffs the last two years. Well, made the playoffs three years in a row. And remember, that was when the team was run by the league. They, did, they had a limited budget. Dave Tippett did some outstanding coaching. And they got some great goaltending. And they actually made a run to the conference yeah. finals in one of those years. Dave Tippett spent six years in Dallas. I know Chris. Yeah, I, 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 guys, I, I, I love Dave Tippett. I mean, he was a great coach. And I'll tell you what, this has got to bother him a little bit, seeing what he's seeing now at times, because defensively he preaches that part of the game. but. I'll tell you what, he's a great guy, and he's a great coach, and I hope it works out for him wherever he's, uh, he's going to be a coach, because he's a good one. All-time leader for this franchise in wins and games coached. His team's averaged 101 points in his six years in Dallas, so he can coach. No doubt about that. This is his sixth year in Phoenix, so a coach that can coach for 12 years and only hit two cities is doing something right. Yeah, speaks volumes, Billy, absolutely. And he, you know, he, he gets the, the, the parts of the game down that you want to have set in stone with the team, and that's defensive hockey. And, you know, they're getting younger here. They've made some trades. They've got some older, growing players here in, in Arizona, but he has a system, and uh, he wins with it. Wayne Simmons with a puck for the Flyers. He'll punch that puck deep in. Got his own and follows it in with a big check on Murphy. Puck squeezes free into the corner, but the Coyotes able to clear. And there will not be any icing here as Andrew McDonald goes back for it. Bring it off for Peter Straka. His first NHL game. Shows some speed moving up ice. Straka to the red line and then winding it in. 
Smith, though, so good at handling the puck. Out of the net to stop it. Gets it to Murphy. He moves it ahead to hands. A big hit. Murphy ends up down in the zone there as the puck moves ahead. Erat's shot is deflected away. And Connor Murphy heading over to the Coyotes bench after taking that hit. Now Smith holds on. You remember Murphy went down in the game. Got in Glendale, too. That one looked dangerous as he took a stick to the midsection. This is an icing call here. He has taken a couple of good licks in this game. We saw Matt Reed hitting him in the first period. He's been tagged a couple of times. The Flyers have stepped up the hitting game. Here's Murphy getting hit by Wayne Simmons. But here's how you get away with a hit that looks like it's from behind. Wayne Simmons didn't push him into the boards and let him go. He took him into the boards. Yep. And when you take a guy into the boards with your body straight up behind his, you don't put him at risk. It's a good hit. Here's another hit at the side right there. Uh, Ryan White from behind a little bit. Got him on the side. And you can see Murphy. I saw him on the bench favoring that shoulder. So he's getting it checked out right now. Yeah, it was the second hit that yep. caused the problem. We get a delay here as Smith is, as you can see, getting some work done to his back. Hey, if you're celebrating an upcoming special occasion, make it extra special. With a suite at a Flyers game, you can enjoy VIP amenities, including private bathroom and waiter, plus great catering options. 12 to 24 people. It's called 215-389-9500. Guaranteed great time. Women managers, they have to be effective. They also have to be quick. Get the job done there. And Smith wants to go back out now. They don't have the power wrenches like NASCAR can boast. <laughs> That's right. Murphy's still getting some consultation there from the training staff of the Coyotes. Arizona controls off the draw handle ahead to Chipchura. Quick pass on the left wing, Korpakoski. Chipchura is there. Korpakoski has to go off the skate right back to him. Bumped by LeCallier and now Moss. Off to the ice by Luke Shen. And Delzato has the puck. Back to Luke Shen. Making it ahead. And Develli in the middle of LeCallier. Right wing feed, Belmar. Belmar wrist shot up high, and that glances off to Smith and out of play again. Fires going up high on Smith a couple of times in this game. There's something about that mask that <laughs> seems to act as a magnet for the puck, and if it doesn't hit the mask, it hits part of Smith's body close to the mask. That got him on his shoulder. <laughs> right by the ear. Maybe it's the eyes on that mask. It's like they're aiming at it. You're looking for a target. That's the only thing I guess you see. Oh, Unless you're Chris Michael Terrian doesn't want to be a target Whoops. down there. Is that puck? Yeah. Uh, you got it there, Chris? Oh, yeah. I'm reaching down, guys. Oh, don't hit. Oh, oh, watch it. Over here for headset. somebody. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Don't let anybody accuse you of being injured worse from bending over to pick <laughs> up the puck. I'll tell you what, man. We were on uh, you the whole time. Uh, pretty tight little area I'm in down here, guys. <laughs> Work with what I got. <laughs> and doing a darn good job of it, too. Big man, uh, big man in small spaces. That's it. You're doing great. Thanks. <laughs> that puck goes into the Coyotes bench. They're still sticking around you there, Chris. Yeah. Face off will be in the neutral zone. That magnet's not on Mike Smith's mask <laughs> after all. <laughs> it's Chris Terry no. now, yeah. yeah. There's nowhere to hide either either, guys. It's both three feet probably in uh, in depth, and there's nowhere to go. So Nowhere to hide for that guy nope, either, Mike nowhere Smith. To hide. But he's it's better fun. protected than you are. Yes, he is. Myers win the headline face-offs. Right played it in, but right back out goes. Over Don't Stick to Nick Schultz. That's the strike. Now it's Schultz again. Off Reed stick, but he could not get it past McCulloch. And the Coyotes have control Ekman Larson for Doan. Doan checked right at the blue line. Schultz, having difficulty getting it past Doan to get it out of the zone. Oh, Shane Doan, he just seems to win those battles along the wall. He defines what it means to be strong in the puck. You can hit his arms, you can hit his stick, and when he's in control of the puck, you ain't going anywhere yeah, if you do it that way. Really strong player, Bill. Angle shot by Katuri. Hit the post. Bounces back out. Sean McDonald saves. Smith 
The rebound taken by Couturier. Turns with it, waits, and finds McDonald. McDonald leading the net. A wrister. Now an off of Umberger and wide in the net. Now it's Couturier. Couturier had two Coyotes to deal with, and they take the puck away. Ekman Larson. Bombing it down the ice. Seven minutes into the third period, Flyers have doubled the Coyotes in shots, 34-17. But again, it's deadlocked where it matters, 3-3. Three, three. Polyakovo, birthday boy, finding Voracek. Voracek waits. That well, went off Giroux's leg. Bounces to the corner. Braden Chen could not track it down. Gagne checked by Voracek. And then Giroux was his way around again in center. He and Gagne are all taken up. Drew couldn't get his stick away. Voracek comes over, says, get away from well, the captain. Well, Gagne also took a big chop and connected on it on, on Giroux. Now Giroux has the puck. He'll push it in. He gets interfered with by Erat this time as Murphy's okay, but now turns the puck over. Giroux had it momentarily, got back. The handle will find Erat. He'll just bump it out of the zone, racing over as Delzato. Tips across ice. Luke Shen will... Back it down. His pass tipped by Chip Tura. And a chance here on the rush. Here's Moss. A shot. Save. Mason. Big stop there from the Flyer goaltender. And then Braden Shen turns the puck over and it's sent wide in the net by Stone. There's Yandel. Across. Bounces off of Stone out to the neutral zone. Simmons pressures him, but he got the puck to Moss, who fires it in. And now it's Luke Shen. For Delzato. And he'll move it ahead for Straka. Rick wide feet is on the money. White tried to get it in the middle to Simmons, but he could not. Bounces back out to the line. It came out. Would have been off sides if the Flyers played it. They do not. Here's McCauley in the middle. Vermette is checked, and the Flyers have it back. Simmons hopping it to McDonald. Andrew McDonald will move it back further in his zone. It's the return feed and moves up, but his pass not handled by the Cavalier. Straka gets it back. Rocket center, tips to Koliakovo. He couldn't get it. He tried to play the puck. He took some man. No call there. Belmar to Le Cavalier, but his pass knocked down by Vermet. Kolik takes a hit to make the play ahead. Koliakovo could not keep it in the zone. And it's offside. Play stopped. Almost halfway through period number three. 3-3 three, three tie in the third. Here is our Pennsylvania lottery pick of the game. Wayne Simmons, what's he done tonight? A lot. Power play goal. He's now fourth in the NHL with 10 of those, four shots, couple chances, and four. It's sort of a typical Wayne Simmons game. Yep, a little bit of everything for Wayne Simmons. He is really one of the heart and soul members of the Orange and Black and has been since arriving here in a trade with the LA Kings to send Mike Richards that way. Wayne Simmons. That is our PA Lottery pick of the game. Did I tell you? The Pennsylvania Lottery benefits older Pennsylvanians. Ryan White's wishing that the PA Lottery could help him right now. <laughs> That's the second time he's gone to the bench just gushing blood from his nose. Yeah. And this is first game back, or first game back in the NHL, first game with the Flyers. We talked earlier about him injuring himself when he was bench pressing, lifting weights this offseason. It happened two and a half weeks after the Flyers signed him. Everybody can relate to pulling a muscle when you're weightlifting. He ripped it, required surgery to repair it, missed 39 games. Look out here, Erat moving up, cross ice pass, and it rang off the post because Gagne could not finish it. Sam Gagne, there's the ping. I'm not sure if Mason got a piece too, but it stayed out. And the game stays tied. Belmar flings in. Andrew Campbell is back and keep Cavalier away from the puck. And now Gagne has it moving back. Over Edmonton Oil required in the trade. Two-way trade in the offseason. He's checked. Myers couldn't come up with it. Kanye does. But the other side, that centers in a shot. Mason, the save. Corrals the rebound. He stopped Korpakoski. And again, the game stays tied. Let's take a look at our Hyundai save of the game. It's not Steve Mason. It's Mike Smith in this hockey game, guys. And right before Umberger's goal, what a stop here by Smith. Same play, Umberger hammers a one-timer. Smith throws out the right leg, makes a tremendous save, and uh, that is a Hyundai save of the game. Pretty easy one right there. It got scored on about 10 seconds later, but made the first one count. The Coyotes have been putting some pressure on of late. It's Chip Chura's shot to save made. Rebound, Moss. He stopped. Mason not moving, waiting for that whistle. And finally, 
in her eyes, but because it was late, it looked like she was shoving. Puck is in the net right now, but it's obviously well after the whistle blew. Well, the Flyers are going to take on the Winnipeg Jets this thir Thursday as this homestand continues. The game time is 7. Then they're going to face off against the Toronto Maple Leafs. I have no idea what to expect from the Leafs, but I know the Flyers will be good on a Saturday night. That's Saturday at 7. You can reserve your tickets now at PhiladelphiaFlyers.com. You talk about a team firing their coach and going from bad to worse. That's Toronto, and here's the Flyers' upcoming schedule. Another break. They're After playing, that game against Toronto. Playing better defense, though, Bill. Yeah. Than whom? <laughs> They're hard. just trying to install a system. Yeah. Going through the old growing pains there. We just stopped scoring. Oh, man. There's Braden Chen. Chen worked on by Andal. And Chipchura comes over. Voracek gets the puck. All the way across Delzato. Wines, fires, saves Smith. Added the puck to the other side. Voracek there. Upended. Got the puck all the way across to Delzato. No penalty called there. As the pass from Giroux misses Delzato. Delzato gets to it though and finds Voracek. Giroux winds it, fires wide. Oh. Bounces back out to him. And he'll get it back to the point. Luke Shen, who fired it wide and then on purpose. Voracek. And had two Coyotes to deal with. And Shen tried to give him some help. And now winds up with the puck. He's checked by Stone. And Yando will tip the puck, but there's Luke Shen around behind that. Yando cut that off. And they try to clear, but cannot. Here's Luke Shen. A shot! Save Smith! Trying to deflect that was Braden Chen off his brother's shot, but it stayed out. Delzato hammers it back in. Fires up to 35 shots on goal in this game. 8.40 remain in the third. Beckman Larson, we look at him, waiting. And now ahead it goes. Doan pressed by Schultz. Puck goes free. Beckman Larson on the rush. In across the line. Shot is loved with ease by Mason, and he'll hang right on to it, and we'll step aside. Very much. Let's take a look at our Toyota turning point of the hockey game. And at this point here, Philadelphia grabs a 3-2 lead. Tobias Reeder comes down on the breakaway, a kind of a lob pass up the middle. Just 38 seconds after the Flyers took the 3-2 lead. That's left us. Uh, this game hanging in the balance at this point, guys. 3-3, 8.24 to go. That was the only Toyota turning point of the game. There's the breakdown. No scoring here in the third. Keep in mind, the Coyotes have been outscored 58-27 to in the third period this year. Second worst differential in the NHL. But that's why the Flyers have not been able to take advantage of that. The more I look at that third goal by Arizona, the more I think it was a set play. Reader and Doan had it set up. If you get it, I'm taking off and I'll get in behind them. If you can just get it by them. Mark strike to it for the Flyers. Well, Couture hops off his stick. You call it backhand. Couture knocks that down. And then Reed fires it around. In from the point comes Schultz. He and Doan come together. And Doan will move it to the other side of the ice. Couture is there. Couture to Reed. Reed. And to cycle it down low to Umberger. It's Schultz instead. Takes the hit. It's knocked down. Gets back up. Still digging for the puck. Umberger in there as well. It's Reed who comes away with it. Thought about the shot and then went back to the point. Shot there. The flexing goes wide. And that one hit something on the way in, but Sprite's offering ended up missing the target eventually. The other way after Larson. There's one in. Mason to save. Deals to Strike. 7.20 remaining here in the third. Rosado. That's a right to his bench area with a line change in progress. Umber the backhands couldn't get it deep into Arizona ice, but the Flyers complete the change. Zerat starts back. Zerat for the Philadelphia line for Sam Gagne. Getting away from Simmons. Centers it out in front. Campbell is shot high and wide. Andrew Campbell with a glorious chance. Now the other way go the Flyers. Pass from Strzok to Simmons across. Then the pass back in front deflected away. And the puck controlled by Gagne. It was Luke Shen trying to get that one back, but nobody's had other ideas. Gagne tips that puck. Chip Jura tracks it down. McDonald poked it away from him, but Korpakoski recovers it. Korpakoski looking deep into the Philadelphia zone. Knocked away by McDonald. Gets to the puck. And it was met by Moss, who sends it back to the corner. Oliakabo is there. Reverses out of the reach of McDonald. Stone 
Down low. Ventura. He escaped the clutches, but the Flyers checking. Moss in there to give him some help, and he comes away with a puck. Moss back for Chip Chura, goes through him for Petoskey, written by Koliakovo. Belmar is there, but he is then checked by Chip Chura. Flyers finally get it, Coyotes need to change, so they're peeling back. The Flyers can step out to center with it. Here's Straka, flipping it, knocked down by Yandel. Flyers trying to change, and here's Dome the other way with it. Shane Dome, and he is stripped by Nick Schultz. Subtle play, Nick Schultz. Knocks it away from Doan. It's easier said than done, as we said earlier. But Nick Schultz is playing like that all season long. Fires now after the puck. Couturier steals, changes direction, trying to get away from Campbell. Couturier getting a little room out near the line. Flips one, it's blocked in front. Schultz after it. Takes the hit, but got the puck to LeCavalier. LeCavalier stepping in front, backhands! Ricochets around, but Smith kept the pad down and kept it out of the net. And the Coyotes clear, and this will be icing against Arizona. Just over five minutes remaining here in the third, and as we come out of the All-Star break, we look at the East, and you can see the plight of the Flyers. They are 12 points out of the second wild card. Washington and Boston tied for the wild card positions at 57 points. Jake Voracek, as we mentioned earlier, figures the Flyers have to win somewhere over 20 games of their remaining 34, so they're gonna have to get on a run and get some help. Might be an easier climb for the Flyers to set their sights on third in the division instead of the wild card. There are fewer teams to pass. They're going to need some team from the top eight to fall, no doubt. And I, those teams right now look pretty strong, but you, know, you get some key injuries. A post for the Islanders, for instance, you get key injuries, and all of a sudden maybe you do fall to a little bit. The Flyers have to worry about their own business, and that's dead win. They need one here. The worst part, guys, is seeing a a game like Columbus and Washington, and it goes to, a, to an overtime. Yeah, that happened, didn't it, tonight? Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I'm just using it as an example, but it could. Giroux backs that one out of midair, and the save made by He's Smith. Me. The hand-eye coordination of that guy, incredible. Here is McDonald to Voracek. Voracek trying to get it back in front, cut off by Hans. He'll move it ahead to Gagne. Gagne bumped there by Voracek. The Flyers get the puck back. 4-10 remaining. McDonald ahead, off the bench on Berger. And across the line, flipped by Koliakovo, off blast in the corner, ricochets to Reed. Reed from the angle hit the outside of the net. And Yando will move it along for Moss. He's able to tip it up, but not out. Kept in by Umberger, who spins it down low, but it hit something and just settled for the Coyotes. And Korpakoski will move up. Korpakoski, a drop pass. Kipchura, shot, save. Made by Mason through some traffic. Moss, moves it down low, Kipchura with some room. Jura changing direction, McDonald knocks him down, and the arms don't go up. Howdy's bench wondering why not. Here's Reed. And again, feeling back at a change of the Coyotes, so Reed all kinds of ice to move up. The feed to Couturier. No feather it into the zone. He's heading off on a change. Line mates will follow. As the puck bounces back toward the Philadelphia Blue line. It's right across. Pass to Schultz, or the Cavalier, and he'll bounce one deep into the Arizona end of the ice. Belmar first to it, takes a hit, keeps on skating. Belmar out the other side, looking, turning, firing wide. Into the point goes Nick Schultz, again aggressive. Looking for the Cavalier, he couldn't handle it. He'll track it down along the boards and then try to dump it deep. It goes off the stick. Connor Murphy, that takes another big hit. That one from Vandevelde, and now it's Doan leaving his way up. Dome to the Philadelphia line. Stop there. Delzato has it. Michael Delzato racing to center ice. Delzato it across the line. Takes the shot. Save up high again by Smith. And Erat to the carom. Erat worked down by Couturier and almost lost it to Simmons. But he carries on. And Erat now buzzing through the neutral zone. Erat moving on Shen. Look, Shen knocks it away to Simmons. Moving the other way, Wayne Simmons. Waiting for help as he skates rink wide. In across the line. His drop pass goes out to center. Goliakovo. Well, out of as far as Hansel at the Arizona line. Nicole Iacobo has it back and he'll bounce it in. One, one, one. So we ticked out to two minutes remaining here in the third period. Still tied at three. Hansel. Wolfikoski in it. Iacobo. Get the puck to Simmons. And now at it goes. Shen backhanding. It's 
Right, Collins who gets to the puck. Crowd urging the Flyers on here. They come up with some late game heroics. Voracek battling. Puck free. Right across to Schultz. Back strike. Surveying as he moves up with the puck. Finding Braden Shen in across the line. He'll wind up and blast. Save Smith and bounces in the blue paint. Cleared out of there. And not out of the zone. Kept in by Strike to Braden Shen. Shen worked on by Connor Murphy. Now Voracek. Voracek trying to get away from Campbell. Could not. Andrew Campbell plays it up but not out. Strike kept it in. One hands it all on the boards. Kept alive to the slot. Here's Giroux waiting, backhanding. And went off the skate of Connor Murphy. Flyers need a change. Get their top line off the ice for the final minute of regulation time. Connor Murphy has the puck. Thanks to Andrew Campbell. And they move it back up to Sam Gagne. Stopped by Katuri, who takes the puck away. Gives to Reed. Reed in across the line. Reed a shot is blocked. He gets it back. Tries to center. Fires are on Umberger. Back out. Luke Shen a shot. Blocked it from Reba. Smith the save off of Reed. Now side of the net, Couturier. And he's checked by Angelou, who takes it away. 25 seconds remaining. Great chance for the Flyers there. And Smith in his defense able to keep it out. Here's Delzato. Winds up, rips it back into the Arizona end. Couturier checked. Braden Shen had a crack at it, but the Coyotes move it back the other way. Seven seconds remaining. Nick Schultz to it. Tops it free behind his own net. Three seconds. Ahead it goes, out to center, and that'll do it for regulation time. Through 60 minutes, we're tied at three. Oh! Tonight's Flyers-Coyotes game is brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. By Toyota. Where will Toyota take you? Visit buyatoyota.com to find out. Toyota, let's go places. And by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Getting set for overtime. The Wells Fargo center, let's... Thank you again at our top shelf performance brought to you by Mazda. And there have been a few of them in this tilt. Martin Erat was everything for Arizona in the first period. Andrew Campbell, first NHL point. Mike Smith has been huge in the pipes. Wayne Simmons with a power play goal. He continues to score on the PP. Michael Delzato, four game point streak. Orchek and Giroux still clicking along. So, five minutes, four on four overtime. Each team has a point. One more up for grabs. Flyers are five and two in games decided in the overtime period. The Coyotes are three and two. Roger and Jake Forachek have scored twice. Braden Shen, after further review, has the other overtime. Game winner for the Flyers this year. Here's Larry Hansel getting the puck into the Philadelphia end. Now McCollum. On behind, Erat sealed off by Schultz, but Hansel wins the race to the puck and gets it out to Stone. Across ice, Yandel. Yandel fires! Save Mason through some traffic, and he hangs on. The Flyers, of course, went to overtime in their last game, which was back before the All-Star break. Bojaru finds this loose puck. And you don't see it, but he ran. There he is, fans at home. Rice in the... Penguins thought maybe there should have been a whistle before that puck found well, free. There had been a, a, a whistle, a quick whistle earlier in the game that negated a Flyers goal. I think that one was called right in overtime. Well, here is Luke Shen getting it back. Voracek and Drew are out for the first time here in overtime. As Luke Shen goes cross ice. Flyers move up, Delzato for Giroux, but he was tied up. Luke Shen is there, a shot blocked. Stays in play, high off the glass. Ekman Larson has it. He becomes a forward as he moves up the ice. Great play by Voracek, steals the puck. The other way he goes with Giroux. Voracek with the puck. Voracek then running into traffic and lost it. And the Coyotes will move back. Well, that's well played by Arizona, getting back so fast. It did appear as though it was going to be a two-on-one momentarily. With Giroux and Voracek, it became a two-on-three. Surging through centers, Belmont gets to LeCavalier. LeCavalier the shot! It went just wide! A laser, but it missed the target. Couldn't reach that pass. Now LeCavalier's got it. LeCavalier waiting and getting to Belmar, who gets to the slot. Belmar holding on to it. Belmar, faced by Stone, still has the puck out at the line. Belmar has the pass into the slot area. LeCavalier. Cavalier back to Koliakovo. His pass tipped. Belmar gets to it. 
to McDonald. Playing it down low. That's be gathered by Adam, but he turns it over. And off the bench. Wade and Shen to the puck. Centers it. The shot by Cody Akimo deflected and goes out of play. Well, let's take a look at our Bud Light player of the game. And it's a man who's seen 41 shots at this point, Mike Smith. Tell you what, guys, usually you don't see the goalie get the player of the game with three goals against, but he has been outstanding at times in this game and really the only reason that Arizona is here in overtime. Mike Smith is the Bud Light player of the game. He's seen 92 shots in his last two games. Good thing he had the All-Star break between them for yeah. rest. Yeah. yeah. Well, he is uh, starting to find his game. There are 63 goalies in the NHL that have played five games or more. Only five of them have a save percentage worse than Mike Smith. Here is Ekman Larson into the Philadelphia zone. Right, moves it around. Popakoski is there. Popakoski getting some room as he skates behind the net with it. Tried to hand off to Ekman Larson. Tipped by Simmons. Got back by Popakoski. He centers it out in front. Unable to get a shot off with Chip Chura. He'll drop it back. We call it. Angle shot blocked. Ball gets it back. Gets to the point with it. His pass tip stays in play. Chichura, he's checked in the Flyers have. Mark Strike moving up. Strike skating right along the line, then penetrates the zone. Pitches it ahead for Brave Shen. Leans on and grabs some. Now he's get to the puck. Hands him. Overtaken by Simmons. Delzato then gets clipped as he knocks the puck away. And Simmons goes across ice to off the bench. Takes it out of the referee's skates, turns with it, and it's taken down by Stone. Now Simmons, oh, he tried to play it back to the point. It's a giveaway. Two on two the other way. Erat with Hansel. Erat hit across the line. Waits, holds, now takes the shot. Save. Mason rebound free. One handed and on goal by Andel. Knocked away and out for a check. To Giroux. 148 remaining in the overtime. Higher All Stars moving up ice. It's for a check. Gaining the line. Voracek, backhands all the way through, Delzato did not quite get there. Giroux to it, Giroux flips one, save, rebound, tipped away, and out to the neutral zone. Who <laughs> heads to the bench, McDonald back into his own zone with the puck. And off to Voracek. Voracek now pushing it ahead. Katuria moves to the middle, Katuria. Holding on, surrounded by white jerseys, and he coughs up the puck. Jets for a breakaway, the puck tipped and could not be controlled by the Coyotes as Gagne was looking for it. And now Couturier stumbles as he was checked. Does get the puck into the Arizona end of the ice. Murphy trying to get away from Reed. Pushed up along the wall. Goliakovo could not keep it in. Two on one. Reeder and Gagne. Gagne holds. He waits. He fires. Misses the target. And the puck finds the safety netting, and the whistle stops play with 44 seconds remaining. Boy, Sam Gagne had two options to pass, and he also had the option to shoot. Mark Streit laid it out, and it just looked like it nicked oh, the crossbar. Yeah, though. Might hit yeah. the corner there. I didn't see it, I didn't hear it either, Bill. I don't think anybody did, but that absolutely caught the, where the, where the post and the bar meet, and boy. I thought he had a chance to pass it earlier in the rush, but it was a good shot. He's his best friend, Bale the most. Wondering why that caught the safety netting. That's why it elevated yeah. off. Right up the draw shot, and Mason the save off of Toby Reeder. Tied this game back in the second period. And now he's got it again, but he's stripped from behind. Sure then trying to make the quick pass, but it was off the mark and taken back by the Coyotes. 27 oh, seconds fun. remaining. Omar trying to get in after that puck, could not come up with it. A cross ice pass, and here's Ekman Larson. Ekman Larson to the Philadelphia line. Now behind, that's cut off by Mason. 15 seconds remaining, one last rush perhaps for the Flyers. Pass on the right wing, Braden Shen moving up. Shen trying to go wide on McCulloch, no sir. And it's Hansel to it. Three seconds remaining, Hansel will start up ice, blast from center, wide of the net. There's the horn ending overtime. We are headed to a shootout here tonight. 3-3 after 65 minutes of play. And the teams will use the skills competition to determine the extra point here tonight. And here's how we got to overtime. The Coyotes came out storming and struck first with Ray Emery in goal. And before the game was six minutes old, Ray Emery's night of work was done. He gave way to Steve Mason. Flyers started to mount their comeback. Wayne Simmons with a power play goal. 
Then in the second period, R.J. Umberger snipe one high to the short side. Game was tied, and then Michael Delzato gave the Flyers a lead, only to see the Coyotes seconds later come back and tie it again. Toby Reeder with that shot. Spirited third period, but we have gone through overtime and now come to the shootout. There are the team's records this year in the shootouts. This will be the first ever shootout between the Flyers and Coyotes. Al Morgan will be talking about all this post game live. Brought to you by Pure Auto Insurance coming up right after the game. The Flyers won their last shootout after losing 10 in a row, and they chose to pick second that night. They have done so again. Coyotes will shoot first, Sam Gagne first. He is one for five this year, 30.5% for his career in shootouts. In he goes. And he missed the net. Gagne coming down and he had some speed, came in, slowed down at the last second and got a backhand off as a pretty bad backhand. Good, work, uh, good try and Mason held in the wall. Jake Voracek two for four. He won't have Johnny Gaudreau to help him out. And in he goes. Weaves to the right wing and in on goal, waits, but Smith waited right along with him and makes the save. That is some kind of work by Mike Smith because Jake Voracek started to pump and then kept skating, skating, and Smith shuffled over and got it with his stick. Outstanding save. Oliver Ekman Larson, his first attempt this year in his shootout. Save, Mason. Dangerous play here by Ekman Larson. Came down, had a quick look, shot. Mason got the blocker on it. So, still scoreless in the shootout. Claude Giroux will try to change that. One for six this year, but 39% for his career. Deliberately. Up the post, and it stays out. Some of the crowd thought it had gone in. Yeah, Claude Giroux usually deeks, but Mike Smith looked like he was twitching as much as Giroux was. And Claude tried to beat him with a shot, only to get iron. So through two rounds, no goals. Antoine Vermette, three for five this year. Springs right, then left. Mason says no. Good job by Mason. A lot of these is the first move. He's going to jump on it. Vermette tied it this time, trying to go five hole at the back end. Real nice piece of work in there by Mason. So Wayne Simmons. Who won the last shootout has a chance to win it again for the Flyers. One for one this year, it was a winner. He's done it again. Wayne Simmons wins the hockey game for the Flyers. Four three is your final. As Simmons becoming the answer for the Flyers in the shootout. Well, he has become the offensive answer. And Steve Mason is now the defensive answer. Arizona with nothing on Steve Mason that allowed Wayne Simmons to come up with this move. Smith had to be thinking low because he was down with the paddle and the blocker. And Wayne Simmons made him pay. Kept him on the ice, went to the forehand shelf, baby. That's how you do it. So Wayne Simmons, two for two this year. In shootouts, and he's been able to celebrate wins after each of his goals makes happy bunch guys in orange and black right there and Wayne Simmons is downstairs with Chris Terrian right now Zimmer you've gotten the, the shootout win before for the Flyers something you saw during the game that maybe helped to get an edge on Mike Smith here in the overtime uh, no not really I just kind of went in and uh, had a move in mind and you know stuck with it Nice to get this win, one, at least one win coming out of the All-Star break. It's got to feel good. Yeah, obviously, I think the way we finish it off, we finish off on a good note. And, you know, I think to come back tonight and, you know, to get the two points again to start off, like you said, um, you know, kind of unofficially the back half of the second season, it's, you know, it's, it's really nice. It's really nice. You guys start off, I guess, after the All-Star game, call it the second half of the season. What's your message as one of the leaders of the team to everybody else in that locker room as you come down the home stretch? You no, know, we just got to make sure we're competing every game. Um, you know, I, I find some games we don't compete for the full 60 minutes, but I think 
you know, you see what we, we, we see what we can do when we compete for the whole 60 minutes, and I think that's a big message. We just got to make sure that we're battling, you know, for the full 60 and stay, keep ourselves in games and get the wins here. The attitude, though, with, within the group has to be one day at a time, one game at a time. We're in the position you're in right now. Yeah, definitely. One period at a time, more one shift at a time. Um, you know, we got it. We, we know we got to make sure that we're doing everything, you know, not perfect, but pretty much perfect for the rest of the year if we want to make it into the playoffs. And, you know, we all have that set in our minds. That's our goal here, and, uh, you know, we're going to stick with it. Remember, great job tonight. Good start after the All-Star break. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, appreciate that, Bundy. So Wayne Simmons started the scoring for the Flyers in the first period, and he ended the game and the scoring for the Flyers with his shootout winner, a fantastic deke to the forehand against Mike Smith, who had been really good in the last half of the game, but not good enough to stop Wayne Simmons, and the Flyers pick up two points. And they'll look for two more on Thursday night. The Winnipeg Jets come calling at the Wells Fargo Center. Second and final meeting of the season. Jets have been red hot. They're right in the thick of the playoff battle out west. Our coverage begins with Flyers pregame live at 6.30. Opening face off just after 7 o'clock. Uh, Comcast Sportsnet. Here tonight, the Flyers get their post-All-Star break schedule started with a win. After 10 consecutive shootout losses, they've now won a couple in a row. The producer for Flyers Hockey is Brian Cooper. The associate producer is Carl Graber. And our director is Mike Mulligan. For Bill Clement and Chris Terry, and I'm Jim Jackson. Once again, the final score to shoot out the Flyers 4 and the Coyotes 3. Stay tuned for Flyers Post Game Live, presented by Cure Auto Insurance.